Paul Ingram. He's a senior research associate at the Centre for the Study of Existential Risk at the University of Cambridge. Uh, that centre sounds like a scary title, Paul. Thanks so much indeed for your time. How robust are nuclear facilities like Zaporizhzhia? Thank you. So uh, Zaporizhzhia is, uh, is, a, is an old Soviet plant um, and... Uh, and whilst it has a very thick containment, um, it is it does require quite a lot of maintenance uh, spare parts, and uh, and is vulnerable uh, to uh, to attack. So uh, whilst the reactor core itself is unlikely to to go to go down, I think there are serious problems uh, associated with uh, the cooling facility in particular, uh, and uh, and if and if for whatever reason lack of parts or People uh, uh, under pressure uh, or or, uh, or attacks. Uh, there, there is a danger here that, uh, that that things could could become quite critical. Is it possible to actually shut down a nuclear plant to maintain security, or does it continue to have to stay operational because of elements like you've just said, uh, the cooling elements in the nuclear plant? Yes. Yeah, so. Um, it is possible to shut down a nuclear plant, but it's not possible to do it quickly. Uh, and if you do shut it down, then that uh, that will take several weeks or months, uh, and it would take some time to have it go back up again. So, uh, so if if you were to shut down the plant, it would stop producing electricity, and that would be quite a, a serious challenge uh, for that part of the country. So, it's not something you do lightly. And if you do, uh, you would be um, putting the, uh, the control rods uh, into the uh, core and uh, it would take some time uh, to properly shut down. And uh, it's the, the, the material is still producing a great deal of heat. Uh, and so uh, if, 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 even if you shut it down and the cooling mechanisms uh, are taken out, as happened at Fukushima, you're still going to have... Uh, meltdowns and, uh, and explosions. So, uh, so it's really important that the cooling systems remain online even when you shut down a nuclear plant. And as I say, that, that takes weeks, months, uh, months for the, uh, for the fuel rods to properly cool down. And what sort of dangers are we talking about? Are we talking about nuclear contamina contamination or possibly a bigger disaster? Yeah, so, uh, so we're definitely talking about the potential for nuclear contamination. If there were a significant disaster with the cooling system, I think we're looking at um, quite a serious localised uh, radiation release. Uh, I don't think we're looking at Chernobyl-type uh, situation where the whole of uh, the continent is under threat. Uh, I, I, I think it's more a question of... Uh, of a significant radiation release locally, if we get to that, we're not we're not near that, uh, and the the shelling that has happened up to now has not uh, has not affected the reactor itself or, or or the cooling system. So it's important to say that. Paul, thank you so much indeed. Uh, that's Paul Ingram from the University of Cambridge. Really appreciate the analysis.